there are a lot of patients who are having a problem with your lower jaw which is very small uh, so in that cases when then we do something called as an augmentation genoplasty along with a uh, bilateral sagittal split osteotomy see uh, why is it called as bilateral it's because we split both the, both the sides of the mandible and then we move the mandible forward and then uh, make the occlusion so for that what we have to do is first we have to as uh, done in a bilateral surgical split uh, reduction this also the augmentation also requires a pre-surgical orthodontics we have to move the teeth into a position where we can give a bite uh, a pre-surgical orthodontics is done then the orthognathic surgery itself the orthognathic surgery involves an admission to the hospital we have to do all the checkups and do all the x-rays and everything get ready and then get admitted on the first day then you have to go for the surgery on the second day, uh, move the mandible forward, do if at all required, with most of the cases we might have to do a genioplasty along with this, an augmentation genioplasty, maybe a vertical correction and a horizontal correction and then split, uh, put that uh, first and then also move the mandible forward and do a uh, full uh, correction of this thing. This uh, orthognathic surgery especially with an increase in the uh, in the mandibular size also has a tendency to uh, relapse so what we have to do is we have to get a very good uh, system so wherein uh, the implant has to stay there the muscles has to be trained all those things are there so uh, it is very important more than the reduction the in the orthognathic surgery include which in which can improve the augmentation is very uh, very very critical so it has been done by a good plan or or the coordination between the orthodontist and the orthognathic surgeon is very important in these cases so make sure that you go to an experienced orthodontist and an experienced orthognathic surgeon before you do a surgical procedure and it uh, it, it need not be done in most of the cases most of the cases it can be done just with orthodontics but if it has to be done it has to be done with an experienced orthognathic surgeon and an experienced orthodontist now uh, and a, a retention uh, with a very good post or post surgical orthodontics is very important so the orthodontist involvement and the uh, expertise of the orthognathic surgeon is which will is what makes this uh, surgery a success so it is not about the surgical uh, tensions and things like that. it is more about the experience of the orthodontist which will uh, which which will actually determine the quality of the facial improvement so uh, make sure that you go and get it done with the experts now uh, what are the other things that has to be the thing you will have a uh, little bit of swelling uh, for next one week and within one month uh, most of the people can uh, go back join back to work and things like that there will be difficulties in talking and things like that for the first few days and then uh, most of the since the implants are very uh, used now the plates are very strong now uh, it is very simple we can actually the plates doesn't have to be removed in most of the cases unless the plates are very low so if you can use the titanium plates and things like that then uh, it will integrate with the bone and you don't have to remove it later uh, but in the past we had we had uh, metal plates which were made of surgical steel and things like that sometimes it had to be removed after the bone was actually formed and things like that so uh, there are different techniques and things like that which will be uh, which is which can be uh, case to case different so your experienced orthognathic surgeon will be uh, really doing a good job on you so don't worry about your orthognathic surgery if you are choosing to do it uh, get it done with an expert and then you will have a great smile and a great this thing. Please keep on watching uh, because I will be explaining most of the dental procedures uh, in a very simple way so that the patients can understand rather than uh, complicating it with uh, technical jargons and things like that. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, please like it, share it and uh, subscribe my videos. I am Dr. Thomas Nechipodam from Nechipodam Dental Light, Marine Drive, Cochin, Kerala. Wikidonis.com about tooth.